All right, today I'm going to be making Raymond noodles with brown butter Hennessy crab meat. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and brown your butter. So what I'm going to do is take some of this butter and I'm going to put it into the pan and I'm going to heat it until it browns. Now, the browning brings out a nice flavoration, which complements the Hennessy very well. Now, I like to add onion to my brown butter, but it is just butter right now and it'll soon be browned with the onions giving it a nice flavoration that is savory and oniony getting closer so you can see it bubble rating absolute goodness now after i've had it on for a little bit you can see that it starts to brown it's browning right there and it's bringing out a great flavoration with the onions and I'm going to just stir it a little bit to get the flavoration permeated with the onions. The onions are starting to brownerate a little bit for a nice flavoration. All right, I'm going to move it from the heat. Now, I removed it from the heat so it can cool a little bit and now I put it back on the heat. Now the heat is on absolute goodness now I'm gonna add a little bit of minced garlic inside of the brown butter as the brown butter starts to heat up now it's important that I do not burn the butter I just want it brown now with it on like this the garlic is just going to simmer and it's going to toasterate slightly now I do not want the brown butter to burn so I don't turn up the heat too high. Alright so now that I have that I let it cool a little bit and I'm going to add some Hennessy. I poured some Hennessy in there. Now it's important that the brown butter is not too hot because if you were to pour the Hennessy in there it may splatterate. So when doing this, make sure that your heat is off and the brown butter is cool enough, not like I have it in this picture. I'm doing it in a way that um, I did not get injured because I'm a professional. I recommend that you let the butter cool completely before adding the Hennessy to it so it doesn't splatter. Now, now that I've done that, I have the Hennessy in there and I have some imitation crab meat which I am flaking apart and putting inside of the browned butter Hennessy solution that I have right here absolute goodness now the flavoration should be at 11 right now for the brown butter Hennessy with the onion in there so with the crab meat in there the flavoration is permeating back and forth into the brown butter Hennessy solution back into the crab meat absolute goodness now I'm gonna let this simmerate for a little bit as you can see right there it's bubble rating and I'm going to prep my Raymond noodles and so what I'm doing right now is I took the flavoration pack from out of the Raymond noodles and I'm adding it to the brown butter Hennessy solution with the onion and crab meat inside of there. Now I'm going to go ahead and stir this up to allow the permeabration from the packet of the Raymond noodles to be permeabrated inside of the crab meat. Getting a little bit closer so you can see it. Absolute goodness. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the brown butter solution to the side and then I am going to go ahead and boil the Raymond noodle block now I'm taking my thongs and I'm flipping it so it can get cooked to al dental absolute goodness now as it starts to cook I'm gonna go ahead and take the thongs and separate them a little bit so that the Raymond noodles get to al dental and will be cooked properly and after that I'm just gonna go ahead and take my bowl right here uh, after I've strained the noodles, you can see that they're perfectly al dental. I'm going to go ahead and put them into the bowl just like that. And you can see that they're strained, so there is no broth. It is straight up Raymond noodles. And after that, I'm going to take the solution where I have the browned butter, brown buttered crab meat with Hennessy sauce in it. 
and I'm just going to pour it on top and you can see all of the flavors go on top of the ramen noodles the brown butter permeated with the crab meat it smells great and if you want to you can cut up some green onions and sprinkle it on top it adds to the flavoration and it also gives it a nice colorization to the permeated ramen noodles now look at this you can see the crab meat you can see the green on y'all look at it come up to the screen and smell it smell that you can smell the Hennessy you can smell the green on y'all you can smell the garlic you can smell everything there's only one thing I can say about this absolute goodness if you ask me absolute goodness